Good morning, everybody, and welcome to Movements Day 9. And it is Sunday morning, and I went and got a haircut. I feel like a new human being, and then I grabbed Stephen and I coffee. So that's how the morning is going. Stephen is watching the news. The dogs are sleeping, except Mabel. Well, Bubba's is sleeping. Mabel is just chilling out. But yeah, I will tell you, friends, yesterday I... Um, chose to like eat less carbs and I did feel immensely better going to bed last night. So I'm gonna try to stick to like, not no carbs, but just like a lot less because it made me definitely feel better. So for breakfast, I'll show you what I got. I grabbed breakfast at Village Bakery, one of my favorite places. And what I ended up doing is just getting their breakfast sandwich on a bed of arugula. So it's eggs, some avocado, bacon, and cheese, so. That's breakfast this morning. Our entire life right now is like makeshift furniture. So here is Steven's makeshift office right now. Oh, and that lighting doesn't really change anything. So this is a pottery barn side table with a kitchen chair and his computer all set up. We have to fix home. one of the buttons on the couch Sweet. because not a perfect angel didn't damage it. It's, Mabel did that? Yeah, she did it. She got like, it. You should be the one fixing it. No, you're good at stuff like that. But she, you know how she gets excited? What does she do when she gets excited? Well, she bites things. Well, yeah, and she happened to snag a button on the couch. Well, we need some twine and a 12-inch knitting needle. Neither of which we have. <laughs> Where does one find a 12-inch knitting needle? Michael's. Needs? Yeah, I got Sir Joanne Fabrics. Yeah. So the reason that is in here is because one of the people who bought our furniture bought our, our house bookcase. But she's having professional movers come and move everything to um, her home in King, her son's home in Kingston. So she bought this as well as the leather couch downstairs. So they're coming next week or the week after to pick this stuff up. So in the meantime, this is Steven's desk. Was it's saying, working. But this is adjusted though. Yeah. So you said last night he was sleeping half on his bed, half on the shelf? His butt was under, in the shelf area. Oh. On the shelf. And he was, he sleeps all over the place. Yeah. All he does is sleep. Oh, that's good. He's had a, a very busy life. With many jobs and careers. I'm glad that he's ending as head of HR. And feuds. I mean, he, he's, wait, he needs to patch things up with some people. He needs to fix things with Lady Gaga before he passes. He did, but then they got into another fight. He, the background story is Bubba's used to be a background dancer for Lady Gaga. For Lady Gaga and then they had a falling out. And she dropped him off at the Charlotte, uh, the Charlotte Pound. Look at this. Pound. Look at this perfect little lady. Say, I would never destroy a button on a couch unless I got really excited and I just bit it because... Why was she getting... Did you see her do that? Yes, I did. And you didn't stop her? She, it was too late. She did it. You know, she does that... Arr, and just grabbed it and went. Because she's a perfect baby girl. All right. So we have to fix. I'll show you the damage when we go to fix it. Well, maybe some of your subscribers, well, it's pretty easy on YouTube. I'll show you what she did. So you see here, there's a button <laughs> just hanging by a cord. That's because she yanked it off. So we're going to fix that. And then Stanley Steamers is coming tomorrow morning and going to clean this whole couch before we move it. So it looks like new. And then I am also going to go over it with my favorite upholstery shaver. You can use it on sweaters as well. What I love about this one is it's rechargeable, but what I'm going to do today is run it all along this. I'm just gonna do like a quick sample. Everything looking like new, especially like the... And what I love is this one has like a big surface area. So let me just do like a little section of it for you. you it's, you're not going to be able to see on camera, but it is literally getting everything. So in that little section, you can see how much it pulled 
off the couch already. It's incredible. By far the best one. It'll leave your couches and your sweaters looking like new. I've linked it down below. Speaking of linking things, I have heard your feedback that I'm not doing the best of job of keeping things up to date um, in my description box. So not only am I going to commit to better linking in my YouTube videos, I'm also going to start a Sunday Sherry's over on Instagram, a play on the idea of Sunday Scaries. We're gonna do Sunday Sherry's, where I'm gonna share and highlight all my favorite things from the week that I use the most and things that I love. So follow me on Instagram so that you can be a part of Sunday Sherry's. It'll also be saved in my highlights on Instagram as well, so you can always reference them at a later date if you need to. I decided to like kind of take the couch apart and do like a good sweep before Stanley Steamers comes tomorrow. They'll sweep it again and then, um, clean it. This is how many tennis balls I found under the couch. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. There are 14 tennis balls under the couch. Miss Mabel, what do you have to say to yourself? Oh, they're not mine. But now that I swept it, I'm going to give everything just like one more dry vac over it. And then it'll be all set for them to come and clean tomorrow and then we'll move a beautifully almost brand new couch and as i clean it i'm going to use my upholstery shaver that i shared with you and just run it over the whole couch as well so it'll be in tip-top shape <laughs> that was a workout but i got everything like dry swept um i took it apart swept underneath it found the tennis balls put it all back together lint it linted like then I went through the upholstery shaver and shaved it all. So when we clean it tomorrow, it's already in a good spot, but I will probably shave it one more time after it's washed. And then we're gonna start putting a blanket over this section because May Miss Mabel is uh, making it her own. So our house couch, all clean. So if you can swing it and stanley steamers pricing is very upfront it's 200 dollars for a sectional to get it um uh, to get it cleaned if you can do it i would suggest doing it before you move because it's going to be covered if you hire movers or you'll cover it when you move it it is so nice to move a brand new clean sofa into a space and just furniture in general so that will all be nice and clean and I'm looking for it to also lighten the color because <laughs> two dogs have laid on it for now a couple years um but yeah super excited about it also excited that it's going to have almost three four weeks to just rest and for the cushions to kind of re-fluff up again they're in great shape don't get me wrong and you can always contact our house and they'll come and do a little like spa treatment for it but this has held up so well with two dogs so really like it. I need to look at what fabric we got. As we spoil two dogs at this home, tell them what you're about to do with this bag of towels. Well, we're taking a walk, we're going to the animal shelter where they have a trail and we're donating these towels to the shelter. So if you have sh towels or linens that you don't need anymore. It looks like some of our good ones are in there though. Which ones? These ones are like brand new. The gray ones? Like the greenish gray ones. <laughs> I thought you said that we were getting all new towels. Yeah, but do we have towels to bathe in right now? Yeah. Like so, how many? I don't know, like five. <laughs> okay. Well, we can we can leave some out. Yeah, these are like brand new. Well, you told me to get rid of the gray towels. Any ones that have this dog on them, uh -huh. we should keep. They were expensive and good. Well, do well no, 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 these aren't them. So there's like a difference. There's like the, the gray-y green. Those are brand new. We've These? not even had those a year yet. These? Yes. All right. Let me go through the towels to make sure we're giving the right ones to the dogs. You told me to get... You just <laughs> those said... are Those are like a green gray. These are gray gray. There's a difference. <laughs> I mean, I just don't want to... I mean, I'm all for helping the dogs. I just don't want to give them our brand new towels. Well, they deserve brand new towels, too. Well, then are you going to buy me all new towels? No. Okay. That's what I thought. So I wanted to get a new fragrance for just like the new move, the new season of life. I've been wearing the same two fragrances for a while. Baccarat Rouge and, oh, I never remember the name. It's by, I think it's a Neen Bing. And I think it's Noir something. Anyway, this one keeps showing up on my Instagram. 
and I was perusing the Nordstrom website and they had it, um, they had it recommended as well. So it's by the company Flour, P-H-L-U-R-E. And this is the fragrance called Missing Person. And it's supposed to remind you of like your loved one. So the notes of this, the top notes are skin musk, bergamot nectar, sheer jasmine. The heart of the fragrance is um, neroli blossom, an orange flower, and the base is sandalwood, Australian oil, blonde wood, and white musk. The bottle is so pretty. This is a nice like weight to it, so it feels like expensive. Let me give it a little bit of a spray. Oh my gosh. I love it. It says it will remind you of your loved ones, and it does. Oh, it's like a perfect unisex. It's really light for spring and summer. That might be my new signature fragrance. I love it so, so much. And like I said, the bottle is so pretty and like has such nice weight to it. I also really love a magnetic closure. Oh, this is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Why is there hot sauce on our counter? Why is there a poodle in our backyard? What are you doing back here? Um, she chased a chipmunk under the steps. There's a chipmunk under there. She chased it from the the propane tank hatch to the grill to the under the steps. That used to be his job. Well, he had no interest. <laughs> I can't see her smell. Yeah, well, she can keep the smell. Any swimming? No, but um, things got a little crazy because we went to the shelter went to Lollipop Farm and she saw the horsies. Look at him! She likes these. Stephen and I were just relaxing um, this afternoon. Sorry for the lighting. It's starting to get that weird time of day. And I am just pouring a glass of wine. We have so many leftovers from the family dinner last night and dinner the other night so we're just doing leftovers again tonight because it doesn't make sense to cook when we have a fridge full of food pouring myself a glass of wine watching a little indian wells tennis and having leftovers because that's what we're doing the women's match wasn't that exciting so i'm hoping that medvedev and alcaraz have a more exciting match we do have our needles and thread ready we are going to try to fix it before the cleaner comes tomorrow. Oh, I thought they were outside. They might be in the garage. I thought the doggies and Stephen were outside. But that's all that's happening right now. Easy peasy Sunday. And I hope that you are having a beautiful day as well, whenever this finds you. I'm gonna go ahead and sign off here, friends. Make it a great day on purpose. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.